Welcome, and well met. Dear, that's the wrong one. Ah, oh, apologies. Thank you, my darling. <sighs> Fie. My vision's growing worse by the day, I fear. Methinks it began when I started reading an old grimoire I found whilst tidying the storeroom. Tis entitled, On the Transference of Souls. A curious tome, this. It claims to grant the reader the power to summon things from beyond the rift. I thought I might use it to stock my shelves with otherworldly wares. Perhaps you will think me simple. But truly, all I want is a better life for my wife and daughter. Yet, tis most vexing. For the moment I start reading the tome, tis as if a fog descends over my eyes. But mayhap there is hope for me yet. If I can get my hands on a quince. They're said to reduce fatigue of the eyes. Would you be kind enough to procure one for me? I must keep reading that grimoire. I've heard quinces are native to Batal. Shall we see if we can't find some? Have you brought me a quince? Many thanks, sir. At last, I may continue reading that grimoire. This could be the turning point in my family's fortune. We ought to follow close behind. Good thing I'm here, really. I know just where to go. I've remarked that myself. They revere Her Majesty with all their hearts and regard her as family. If our death well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Which brings me to a curious point. Hmm? What happened to my eye? Oh, uh, uh, never mind the bandage. Tis nothing serious. Now, as I was saying, I'd like for you to find the grimoire's second volume for me. Twould seem tis part of a set, and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. The copy I possess is but the first. One half of a whole. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. Alas, passing through the border checkpoint is no simple matter for a humble merchant like myself. But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal. Then you ought have no trouble passing through the checkpoint. I implore you, find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent life. The life they deserve. This is my chance to provide for them as I ne'er have. A queer little shop in Vermond, is it? I wonder which of the shops in Vermond matches that description. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then bu I son.
Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness to this momentous occasion. We ought to follow close behind. Bactal is not a friendly place for pawns. Each gaze we encounter feels more unjustly vicious than the last. Take heart, for we are fulfilling our duty at the Arisen side. We have naught to be ashamed of. This is it! This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! I did it! I did it! Now, what do we have here? Tis sand. Sand as could be found anywhere. I suppose it was foolish to hope that our fortunes could be turned so easily. Well, I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. If you'll still have me, my dears. My dears? Esmeralda! Raelia! Where could they have gone? Hmm. This, this is my daughter's. And, and here's my wife's wedding ring. Why would they be buried here in the sand? Unless... <laughs> Nay, it couldn't be. My wife and daughter vanished for this? Piles of sand? <laughs> no, of course not. Their patience with me simply ran thin. They run off somewhere, that's all. I'm sure of it. I'll just have to find them. Come back, my dears! I was a fool! To think this was the conclusion that awaited us. It seems we were wrong to indulge Sir Isaac after all. Might there have been some other way?